Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I will show you how to rebuild the brake caliper for the Minelli 250 or the Moto Guzzi 250. It's the same. And a bonus uh, feature, I will also show you how to break your brake lever. So we have the caliper here. It's uh, a bit stuck as expected. It's also still pretty dirty. But uh, one other thing that probably didn't help with uh, the brakes getting stuck is the fact that these are completely worn to the metal. There's like almost no pad left. Yeah. Basic maintenance on your bike, guys. It's uh, it's really important. And for those of you that doubt me, I'm pretty sure that this is not from the 100 kilometers I've driven it in the last couple of months because it's uh, winter, it's salty, it's cold, so I haven't driven it that much. But uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's give this thing a clean and see if we can take it apart. I also have this uh, original rebuild kit from a Moto Guzzi supply store because, as you might know, the Benelli 252C is the same bike or almost completely the same bike as the Moto Guzzi 250TS. So this is the same brake system and uh, the Moto Guzzi one is a bit more common. So you can find parts under that name a bit more easily. So without further ado, let's take this thing apart. I can probably split these with these two bolts. But maybe while I have uh, I have them still connected, I will try to shoot the pistons out with some compressed air. So a bit of advice, please put some wood in between the pistons. Uh, one, if they hit each other really hard, they can, it can damage them. Also, if you have, uh, this is a dual piston, if you have a single piston and your piston shoots out, uh, it's a deadly projectile that goes to your shop. So. One piece of advice here. Let's see if we can get them unstuck. Got some compressed air. I'm going to try. See if uh, something moves or not. Let's see if we can maybe give him a nudge with the screwdriver. Ooh. So maybe they will get unstuck. These are very tight. Yes, let's get the torch out. Let's see if that helped. Yay, I got it loose. I'll just put it in the vise between some pieces of wood. And uh, the piston is loose now, so hopefully I can uh, actually pull it out. I think it's out. Oh, no, it moved, I think. Yeah, it's definitely free now. So I managed to get them out. Uh, I did it with the method I used in the clip before, but I just had to try it a couple of times. Uh, especially this side, this side was really stuck. This one had the worst piston, that's this one. I'm going to see if I can uh, clean it up a little bit with some scotch bright or whatever. Hopefully they clean up because the pistons are a bit harder to find. So we'll give them a clean and then we can start removing the old gaskets or the old rubbers, put in the new ones and reassemble it. Yeah, they might clean up a bit. Maybe use some WD-40 just for some lubrication. Nope. 
So after a couple of minutes of scrubbing, I actually got one of these scotch bright pads for the drill. So chucked it in there and then uh, went to town on them. They cleaned up all right. They are not perfect. They are far from perfect. This one is the worst, which has some pitting in the lower part, which worries me the most. This one is okay, I think, because the seal rides on the bottom half of the piston. This one uh, has some pitting here at the bottom. Hopefully it still seals. Uh, we currently have no other choice than to reuse them because uh, we don't have any other. I will start my search for a spare set of pistons and if needed we can uh, rebuild them later. So let's put these aside and then get to the caliper itself. Uh, it could use some paint. I'm still debating whether or not I'm painting him uh, or not. But anyhow, uh, there is just one seal here where the piston rides on. And then the other seal that seals the two halves together is already gone. It's uh, the smallest one there in the rebuild kit. So let's just get the old ones out so we can get the new rings or the new seals in uh, mount the pistons and then maybe just quickly give the outside a little coat of paint uh, we'll see and there we go that's one and there's the other one let's just quickly clean it off with some brake clean. Uh, it still has some ultrasonic fluid in there. Uh, clean it out with some compressed air and put the new ones in. So, all cleaned out. Let's put in the new seals. Uh, these are the dust boots that go on last. New hardware to mount it. The tiny seal in the middle. And these are the two seals for the pistons. The rebuild kit also comes with a little bit of grease to mount the seals. So I guess we're just going to do that. It's a bit, it's some sticky grease. It's probably mostly to get the piston in, just so it doesn't tear anything up when it gets in. First caliper. There we go, easy. The way I usually mount them is uh, put them in then hold it with one finger at the start and then just go around with the other finger and usually it just finds its spot. There we go, number two. And now we have to put in the pistons I'm also going to add a little bit of grease here to the edge, just so they don't tear up the new seals when going in. Not too much, just a little bit. And it's in. There you go. Just compress it all the way. It's easier to mount them back on the bike. And then number two. And there is number two. It's on. I'm just going to quickly clean off the outside a little bit to get the excess grease off. Because, as you might know, you don't really want grease on your brake pads or your brakes in general. 
there you have it. Then there's uh, just one more. C oh, no, you have to get the dust caps on first. I'm not sure how they, they just go around the piston like this. There we go. Yes, that's it. So you have two little lips here on these dust caps. One on the inside that fits into the little groove in the piston. It's a bit hard to see. And then on the outside, there also, there also is a little lip that should fit around this edge on the caliper. So get it around the piston first. And then it should also fit around the caliper. There we go. Okay, cool. And now the last seal. I'm also add, going to add a little bit of grease just so it doesn't fall out. This should fit here. Oops. And then we just have to mate them together. Just pay attention to the seal so you don't tear it. There we go. I don't think we should over torque these. Uh, now all we have left to do is to mount it or to spray it with some paint. So we got everything painted up. Let's uh, just put it back on the bike. We got some brand new brick pads. Hopefully these will break better than the old pieces of iron that were in there. There we go. Uh, all we have left now is to re-bleed the brakes and actually tighten the wheel again because I've uh, took it out and had it balanced because it had a wobble at 70 kilometers an hour. Hopefully that fixed it, but we'll have to see. So, as I was uh, bleeding the brakes, this just happened. What the fuck? Come on, man. I consider myself lucky this didn't happen on the road while riding. Because this uh, definitely can cause issues. Oh, come on. So, I guess that's it. That's how you rebuild this uh, front caliper for the Benelli or the Moto Guzzi 250. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, except for if you have a brake lever that just snaps in half. Uh, I will be contacting the seller uh, with this issue. So without further ado, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.